right, if you paid attention to the community post, you would know I had said I'm kind of in the mood for some Genshin content, and to be honest, I've been on a high for it for a bit of a while, so I wanted to do something about it. And so basically, I was asking what ideas to go for, and some of you guys were basically like, do something about mods, but safe for work. And so I was like, all right, bit different, but we'll try it out and see what happens. And then I came to the realization, after looking through some mods, that holy shit, half the scene of mods in Genshin is NSW, and half of it is actually just other crazy, useful, and maybe just fun stuff to have, honestly. So when it comes down to it, it's kind of hard to escape that side of... <laughs> you know, the mod scene, so it's gonna be a little bit, slight bit of both on this one, but more so safe than there is gonna be anything crazy, so just keep that much in mind. But still, nonetheless, it's gonna be fun. And when I was also looking through this, I also happened to know that a lot of people were always talking about different costumes, different type of things when it comes down to accessories for different characters. And so that's why I basically made this whole video for. Basically, let's go over some different designs or different outfits for each character that maybe we can look through. Now, obviously I can't go through every single damn design and every single character that's out there, but I'll go through some of that I just found that was most interesting. Now, the first one I want to bring up is one of a Chibi Arlecchino, which, you know, uses like her lolly form from back in the day when she was younger. And when it comes down to it, not gonna lie, pretty damn good. This one was made by Parlay, and honestly, yeah, she does look cute. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's basically just Arlecchino with her modern powers, but just a lot more cuter when it comes down to it. And obviously, I feel like she was still will break your spine when it comes down to it. So at the end of the day, I'm not gonna try to cross paths with this woman 100%. Unless she just, you know, breaks out of character, which is something that she can do because she isn't real. But when it comes down to it though, also why is she just sitting in Inconomia like she owns the damn place? T to be honest, I feel like she kind of would, but still nonetheless, like hot damn lady. Next one is Magia Bazer Noel from Ari Lude. And to be perfectly honest, please give me huggy wuggies. Yeah, this this is this is just this is just Magia Bazer. This is just Utena when it comes down to it. Also, how horrifying would it be if Utena <laughs> came through <laughs> to Genshin? That shit will be honestly egregious. People will be definitely be in some submissive situations. Left, right, and center. Chicken cheese. Chiori because why not I, I suppose <laughs> we could see Chiori in a damn chicken outfit for some damn reason right of all the things she said you know this that we need to have a new piece of you know diversity in fashion th this this is the new fashion sense this is this is where fashion is said wearing a damn chicken outfit honestly which to be very honest with you, absolutely hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, I you did a very good job on this one. Jester Farina, which is made by, I can't read that, so I'm gonna just call them Mimo. But when it comes down to it though, this is actually looks pretty damn good. Like, to be very honest with you, I would hella put this in the game if I could, right? The only issue that I would say I have with this, this really this outfit just in general, it's just the fact that I think it makes Farina look a little too old, right? I feel like just for just for me, I feel like it makes her a little too old considering, you know, her personality and how she kind of thinks and stuff like that, right? When she kind of thinks younger versus literally, you know, everything else. So I feel like this might just look make her a little too older looking. But at the very same time, I don't necessarily hate it, right? Especially when it literally changes color like her actual regular outfit does. But yeah, think about it. Her regular outfit change in the actual game is so minimal. You can tell it happens, but it's very minimal. But the outfit change that you see in, you know, this makes it look like it actually stands out, which honestly floats Farina's boat like 10,000 times over. But when it comes down to it, I just feel like maybe the pants are a little too long or something like that to make her look older. I don't know why, but to me, that's like the only thing I would say in this one. So, you know, still really good mob though, 100%. 
but I would definitely say that if you could just make her not so looking older, that would been the go. That would been the the go to honestly. And it was at this point that I realized how many NSFW mods are out there on Genshin when it comes down to it. Mainly because I was trying to look through Chevrus, I was trying to look for Lynette, I was trying to look for Shanyun, honestly. Like so many different characters and a lot of them didn't really have any mods I would say that appealed to me, at least when I was looking through. And at that current moment in time, I just kept seeing a lot of really like not so good well made NSW mods. Slightly not good, slightly well made, you know, some really good mods and thick mods of the characters and I'm just like wow, this is like 50% of like all the stuff I've been seeing. So unfortunately I can't just pull out, you know, oh a good Kale mod or something like that because literally the ones I've seen don't really do anything for me personally. So I, I wasn't going to bother covering it. So when it comes down to it, you know, there is mods that's out there. But at the same time, you got to look through different sites like Game Banana or Nexus Mods or Lover's Lab or what other places you can definitely find mods. And hell, mods that probably people can't pull on these sites because people will probably tear them down quickly. Also, one thing I wanted to mention before I head back into the final character of this whole thing is that when it comes to people that might be interested in using these mods or anything like that to put it in Genshin, you gotta remember, especially if you're someone new, that Genshin don't really like it when you put mods into their games and you can get banned for it. The only way you don't necessarily get that ban is obviously if you don't share your user ID that's in the game to anyone and then they'll take it and then put that into our reports to Hoyaverse or anything like that, right? So obviously don't share your user ID to people especially if you're using mods because that can get your shit banned if someone comes through and decides to report your shit but with that being said hope you're ready for a lamine festival because what genshin video would this be without her so when it comes down to it first of all we got lamine bride traveler which i'm not gonna hold you i like this outfit a lot not just because it shows off a lot of good stuff but it also just really fits her i'm not gonna hold you Mainly because this mod was at least submitted and maybe created by XX0. But when it comes down to it though, basically it just gives her the actual vibe of a traveler that's not from that world, right? Because anytime I look at Lamine's main outfit, I'm like, yeah, it looks like she doesn't exist in that land or she wasn't originally a part of it or something like that. But at the very end of it, it still doesn't come off as traveler-ish, but this one does. Because, yeah, it looks like she comes from a fantasy land. She comes from a land that really doesn't exist in this outfit. And it's just like, yeah, I can understand the idea that this time she really is a traveler. Where in the other one, it's more like she's a princess or something, right? And which that's kind of the whole point, honestly, because the whole abyss princess thing in the actual canon. But this just makes her feel like she's more of an outlander with this outfit, honestly. And the fact that she's a bride as well makes it even hotter. So definitely, when it comes down to it, would like to have seen this, you know, a, a bit sooner in my time. Would like to see people honestly rock this shit in their games just because I just feel like it fits her like 10,000 times more than, honestly, even a regular outfit does a bit. So that's just personally how I feel on that one. Then you have Black Swan Lamine from Midnight Mint and oh yeah this, this now this is this is where the energy I need comes from this is the this is some proper energy right here obviously very skimpy very showy in some areas that I might have to censor but at the very same time this is this is prime Lamine right here this is the Lamine you see when you're coming home from a long day at work and she's just in the bedroom just ready to intercept this is this is that Lamine right now so when it comes down to it not really much to say but I don't mind this one at all then at the very same time we do have leeway Lamine by Mimo again which this pisses me off right not the outfit the outfit is amazing it's great but the fact is there's someone that made an outfit like this that looks hella good and amazing but for some reason Genshin can never do this for the traveler I get it that she wants to keep her main clothes for you know to remind her of home and whatever but at the very end of the day how dope would it have been if we got clothes from different regions as we went along through the game like or even an accessory 
or something. Everybody else can have the potential to, you know, wear different clothes, but the Traveler can't for whatever reason. And it's so weird. It looks so good on her. By far, one of the better outfits I've seen as I was scrolling through the mods. But when it comes down to it, we just don't get stuff like this in game. Hell, we really don't even get skins like that in game for Genshin too much outside of like Lantern Right Time. And to be honest, why is it only just Lantern Right Time? Why can't we just get more skins overall? I ain't saying we need to get bogged down with just, you know, shit tons of microtransactions, but I'm just saying it would be nice to see, you know, more skins like this, especially for characters that could really use it, like the Traveler. So when it comes down to it, personally for me, this is just real damn good. I like the absolute hell out of this one, and the fine ass job was done here by Mimo. Just gonna keep that very much a stat with you. And the last one is one that you probably have seen before, which is the tactical gear that Lamine wears in those animations from the Hoya Fair, like video animation collaborations type of thing that, you know, Hoyaverse like to put up sometimes when it comes down to it, you know, how Lamine was just like shooting people into that one animation. So yeah, they someone actually was able to make it and that very someone was Angel Lay End. It, it's like legend, but you take the G out and you put it Y in there for some reason. I, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is basically just tactical Lumine. It, it just looks pretty much like her. And to be honest, this is like maybe the other version of Lumine I would say in someone else's canon that I am very familiar with because the animations go hard, to be honest with you. If Genshin had guns, Oh, Lemmy will probably be popping off in this very same way. But that right there is basically all the good mods I was able to find, honestly. I know the last bits of it was like the Lamine Festival, but at the very same time, she had some good shit and I did not necessarily want to pass up on not showing it. I know Hutao probably got some good stuff as well. I know, you know, we probably got some things for Eula maybe, but when it comes down to it, I just really wanted to focus heavy on this one because if case we do this again, hey, at least I got all the Lamine stuff out the way. So there you go, right? That's just how it is. And also, I know this ain't the most craziest mods you've seen out there. You've probably seen wilder mods. Like for example, I found this one of Yoimiya where she's actually a weapon. She's a bow and arrow because she spreads her legs. Okay. <laughs> But essentially, that's what I wanted to show when it comes down to this. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on my house. Also find my socials and like to on this channel, Ko-Fi, and Cash App as well. Until next time, Bojay, signing off. Have a blessed day.